Behold a faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord set out over his household. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We celebrate today the solemnity of St. Joseph the husband of our Blessed Virgin Mary, the patron of the Universal Church. In the midst of this journey of Lent, we have with us this wonderful model of what it is to live in obedience, in humility. And as we step into the Eucharist, we, we seek the protection of St. Joseph. We seek his guidance. We seek his intercessions. And so to prepare our hearts and minds to celebrate the Eucharist with a contrite heart, let us examine ourselves. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the, the glory of God, God the, the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you have entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The word of the Lord came to Nathan. Go and tell my servant David, thus the Lord speaks. When your days are ended 
and you are laid to rest with your ancestors, I will preserve the offspring of your body after you and make his sovereignty secure. It is he who shall build a house for my name and I will make his royal throne secure forever. I will be a father to him and he a son to me. Your house and your sovereignty will always stand secure before me and your throne be established forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. His dynasty shall last forever. His dynasty shall last forever. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Through all ages, my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure, that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. His dynasty shall last forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sown to David my servant. I will establish your dynasty forever and set up your throne through all ages. His dynasty shall last forever. He will say to me, You are my Father, my God, the rock who saves me. I will keep my love for him always. For him my covenant shall endure. His dynasty shall last forever. A reading, from, a, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The promise of inheriting the world was not made to Abraham and his descendants on account of any law, but on account of the righteousness which consists in faith. That is why what fulfills the promise depends on faith so that it may be a free gift and be available to all of Abraham's descendants. Not only those who belong to the law, but also to those who belong to the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us. As scripture says, I have made you the ancestors of many nations. Abraham is our father in the eyes of God, in whom he put his faith, and who brings the dead to life and calls upon and calls into being what does not exist. Though it seemed Abraham's hope could not be fulfilled, he hoped and he believed. And through doing so, he did become the father of many nations, exactly as he had been promised. Your descendants will be as many as the stars. This is the faith that was considered as justifying him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
They are happy who dwell in your house, O Lord, forever singing your praise. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called Christ. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. But before they came to live together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a man of honor and wanting to spare her publicity, decided to divorce her informally. He had made up his mind to do this when the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus, because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had told him to do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Along the journey of our Lenten pilgrimage, we have a moment to find ourselves with St. Joseph. We celebrate today the solemnity of St. Joseph, the husband of Mary, the patron of the Universal Church. When you begin to study as much as possible in depth to the life of Joseph, you find that nothing much is revealed about him. A very silent man, a very quiet, hidden man. Nothing much is portrayed about him. But there's one word that you will find in most of the writings about St. Joseph, and the word is righteousness. Righteousness. You take a moment and you look at this whole word, righteousness, it simply means having a right relationship with God. It's about having that steadfast relationship with God. That's righteousness. When you stand before God and know who God is and who you are before God, that's righteousness. And the foundation of this righteousness is found in the second reading today, St. Paul to the Romans. Where do you find this righteousness? Where does this righteousness come from? It's based on... <laughs> Too early in the morning. Eh? It's based on faith. St. Paul says, if you ever want to capture righteousness, St. Paul says, look at faith. Faith is everything about a righteousness. And faith, as we all know, is a relationship with God. My faith is based on my relationship with God, who is God and where I stand before God. St. Paul repeats this very strongly in his readings today, writings today. <laughs> Righteousness is based on faith. And where does this faith of, come from? It comes in the model of Abraham in the first reading. How you live that faith in God. When Abraham was asked to leave, he picked up and he moved. When Abraham was asked to offer his son, he did as he asked. Not a word, not a said word. He did what he was asked to. That brings us to the most important line in the spirituality of St. Joseph. It's called about listening to God. And that, my dear sisters and bro brothers, is obedience to God. That's all. It's a very simple text to look at today. Righteousness on faith. Faith is on listening. Listening is obedience. The last line of today's gospel, Joseph listened to 
the voice of the angels, at once he got up and did what he was asked to do. That's all. He didn't say, how long shall I discern about this? How long shall I pray about it? Can I consult one or two people before I do this? He just did as the Lord commanded. That is faith in obedience. We have a perfect model of the universal church today. A man of humility and docility. A man of obedience and of faith. And that comes in the silence of one's prayer life in faith. Let us ask the Lord the grace in the midst of this midpoint of our Lenten journey. We find a moment just to sit back and to ask ourselves how we could imitate the model of perfection. I leave with you the questions for today's reflection. How do I imitate the humility, the faithfulness and the obedience of St. Joseph? How can I imitate the humility, the obedience and the faithfulness of St. Joseph? How do I find it so difficult to be patient and obedient to carry out the challenges in life? How do I find it difficult to be patient and to obedient to carry out the burdens and the challenges of life? And finally, how do I follow in the footsteps of St. Joseph and Abraham in living a life of righteousness? How do I live and follow the footsteps of St. Joseph and Abraham in a life of righteousness? We now stand to renew our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God, God from true God, God begotten, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For, For our sake, sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. You may be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, true goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands, I've made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to goodness, we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with loving care, that your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we too may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we step into the preface, I invite you to pray for the intentions offered at this morning's Eucharist, especially for all those who bear the name Joseph, for all those who hid the family, husbands, fathers, foster fathers, grandfathers, We ask for the Lord to guide us in this moment of this pilgrimage of life. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, and on the solemnity of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and to bless you. For this is a just man that was given by you as a husband to the Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. And so, Father, to the angels we praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. A 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you your death, death O Lord. Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look with favor upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints of, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Sebastian our Bishop, the order of bishops, all clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Father, listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed sisters and brothers and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the fate of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Well done, good and faithful servant. Come, share in your master's joy.
Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar. And as we rejoice at the solemnity of Saint Joseph and graciously keep safe the very gifts among them, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Joseph. Hail, Hail guardian, guardian of the Redeemer, Redeemer spouse, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary. To you, God, entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary, placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Have a blessed weekend and stay safe. Same to you, Father. <clears throat>